Hey guys, what's up? I'm here at Target. We're gonna go inside and see what things they have that are vegan. Let's go. All right, first we're gonna see some organic firm tofu. It's a little bit more expensive than where I normally buy it. And then these miracle noodles say vegan right on the front. So I gotta show these as well. Miyoko's has rebranded their packaging. Here's their oat milk butter and vegan cream cheese. Now, I like to go back to Target every so often and do these videos, even when there's stuff that I've already shown in other videos, because I like to show what they have, and I also like to see what's new and if anything's changed. So here we have the Nasoya dumplings, and they say vegan right on them. The Hodo, and of course we have tempeh. And the Nasoya put vegan on all their new packets, and I think that's pretty cool makes it easier for, for us vegans. And then here is their creamer section and their plant milks. We have the silk oat creamer. There's so many different uh, ones to choose from. Khalifa Farms, Khalifa Farms, oat milk. I wanna just talk about this real quick because a lot of people say that Oatly is so bad and has, there's no sugar or oil in the white carton of, of Oatly. So no oil, oil free. Uh, we have the silk next milk. And the, the Ripple for kids. I actually get that at the bargain grocery store. It's only 99 cents there. And more Califia Farms, coconut. And then over here we have the Impossible, a lot of Impossible sausage here. If you wanna spend like 11 bucks, even more. And over in the section, not with their butter and everything, we have Miyoko's mozzarella, which I highly recommend, especially when you're making some pizza. And then this is new, I haven't seen this before in my Target, but the um, plant-based cheddar and the plant-based mozz. And they're cheaper than the leading brands out there. So I haven't tried them, but they have them. And they're vegan, it says vegan right on the package. And tofurkey right there in the meat. I don't personally like it there, but I think it's good because, you know, people that go to buy meat that aren't vegan might see it and say, hey, I'm going to give this a try. So it gets it out there at least. And here are some of their ice cream. We have the Oatly, the Ben and Jerry's is on sale. So delicious, dipped in these kind frozen bars. There's the ingredients. It does say may contain milk because it's on shared equipment but they are vegan. Uh, that's just um, a, a, an allergy statement that they have to give up for legal reasons. You don't want people to get sick and die if they're hyper allergic to something. Purple, carrot, always vegan. And Sweet Earth, not all their stuff is vegan, but they have new packaging. General So's tofu, the butter chicken, and I, I really like this uh, cauliflower mac. I still have some of the old boxes of this. And the black pepper parmesan chickpea pasta with broccoli and peas. I haven't tried that one. We got the Amy's enchilada. And these are vegan. It says it right there on the package. I love that vegan certification. It makes it easier for me. Pad Thai all the way back there by itself. Pad Thai. And then the Sweet Earth Burrito Big Sur Breakfast Savory Tofu Scramble. Uh, it says vegan right there on the top right. And Tattooed Chef, Buffalo Chicken Quesadilla, Napoleon. I haven't tried that one, or I haven't tried this one either. The Chorizo Quesadilla. All the way back there by its lonesome, we got some spicy Thai bowl by Tattooed Chef. They're either gonna say vegan or vegetarian. Obviously, the vegan ones are the only vegan ones. Annie's Organic, Sweet Lauren's. Oh, come on here, we got some chocolate chunk. We got the fudgy brownie cookie dough and the oatmeal cranberry all vegan right there and uh their their silk almond milk i i really that's my favorite right there the vanilla we got some of these good catch and holy veggie buffalo cauliflower wings and these uh good catch are on clearance right now the salmon burgers I'm not sure if that's like that at all targets or just the one I'm at right here. The ultimate plant-based sausage links by Gardein and the plant-based chicken. I may have had that for dinner. Pancake sausage on a stick. There's the ingredients. Jimmy Dean's plant-based patty. Be careful, these are not vegan. Just because they say plant-based doesn't mean they're vegan. 
So be careful. I will be making a video about plant-based and vegan very soon. But I just wanted to show just because it says plant-based doesn't mean vegan. And we got the Just Egg, which is vegan. And these almond flour Siete tortillas. They're so good, but they're so expensive. And this flavor from the Bombay chef is vegan. The other one is not. Be careful. Vegetable spring rolls. Let's check those ingredients. They seem to be vegan to me. And Heidelberg French peasant bread. These are semi-local in Utica, New York. Of course, Dave's killer bread. We got the organic. We got vegan. Siete has some taco seasoning, mild. I showed you this at Expo West earlier this year. And of course, these are vegan. It says it right there, front and center. And Korean gochichang sauce. Um, this is really good, especially if you're gonna make that bibimbap. It says vegan right there. 329 and worth it if you've never had it before. Now, I just wanna show it's college is back and everything tonight was out of stock. Daya, mac and cheese. We got Annie's mac and cheese. And we got Goodles or Goodles, vegan is believing, mac and cheese. There's just so many varieties of vegan mac and cheese and just vegan things. This one right here, chunky tomato, be careful. This is the one that's not vegan. Contains milk, er, er. nope. Uh, lentil vegetable, back to the vegan. You just wanna find that certified vegan on the back of that and you're all good. Off limit spark cereal. A little bit too expensive for me, but a bargain grocer, there's only, they're only $2. And it says vegan, gluten-free right at the top. They have the zombie one, and they have that Flex, Spark, Dash, Zombie, the four packs. Reminds me of when I was little, but this is a lot more expensive, $13. I really like these Frosty Flakes. I haven't had them in a very long time, but they're organic, and they are vegan, and there's actually no vitamin D in it, so you don't have to worry about lanolin. This is the only cereal by Post that I believe is vegan because this is the only one that I've personally found not to have vitamin D in it. And although the ingredients are not good for you, this seems to be vegan. The only cereal by Post that I can find, all the rest of them have vitamin D, which contains lanolin. Sorry, Post cereal is not vegan. Here we have Ghetto Gastro Toaster Pastries, Pop-Tarts essentially. I've heard that these are really, really good and they're vegan and they have several flavors here. Peanut butter and jelly, maple apple cinnamon, chocolate, raspberry. And if you want some, you're going to have to pay $5.99. They also have the syrup, the maple cider and the spicy maple. So these are brand new products that I've never seen before. I've never tried them, but I'm going to have to try those pop tarts because they look good and i haven't had a pop tart in a really long time they also have pancake waffle mix different flavors there original sweet potato and strawberry so here's some of the ingredients you're looking at and plant-based but the ingredients all say vegan as well 6.99 these who bars are vegan but all these brown ones are vegan and these ones are not so make sure you look at the uh, package to know which ones are vegan. Good old Bob with Bob's Rud Mill coming in hot with nutritional yeast and xanthan gum. Now these Annie's strawberry gummies, gelatin free, vegan. I love it. Where were these when I was younger? Berry Patch, vegan, gelatin free. Bernie's Farm, organic, gelatin free, vegan. All of these. Oops, what are these? Bees, bugs, and butterflies, not vegan. They contain honey, but the Biscoff, you can use these for s'mores. They're really good, and they're vegan friendly. These uh, Snyder's, Nashville Hot. It's like a new package. They used to be buffalo, and they're really good, and they are vegan. Uh, the ingredients, not the best for you, but hey, that's not what this video is about. We're talking about what's vegan and what's not. Made good soft baked mini cookies, family pack. All of these made good things that I found are vegan. I don't know if they make anything that aren't vegan. Um, boom Chicka Pop, sweet, salty kettle corn, vegan. And back to the made good cookies. These are some bigger cookies, chocolate chip, vegan, right there, certified. Partake Snickerdoodle, all of these are also vegan. We got the chocolate chip, 
crunchy cookies. They're pretty good. Uh, the Siete grain-free cookies, Mexican wedding. It says vegan right there at the top. And there are the ingredients. And they also have this flavor, which is Mexican shortbread, gluten-free and vegan. And that wraps up all my vegan finds at Target. Here I found some 80s things. Who remembers Light Bright? Light Bright, Light Bright, turn on the magic of colored light. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Stay safe, watch out for zombies. I'll see you guys next time.